girls and welcome to another episode of Hope Kids at Home. My name is Kirsten and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Before we get into some really cool praise and worship, remember, grab your Bible, grab your offering, grab your dog and your cat and your mouse and your mom and your dog and your cat and your mouse and your mom again and join us for today's episode. We're so excited to be here with you and I know that you're going to have so much fun in praise and worship. So get up onto your feet and let's join in praising God together. life app cooperation say it together with me working together to do more than you can do alone and our memory verse is found in Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 two is better than one they can help each other in everything they do what is tithing Tithing is about giving your first fruits to God. No, not actual fruits, 
Proverbs 3, 9 says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Tithing is all about giving the first of what you have to God. It's an act of worship, just like praying, reading your Bible, or singing songs to God. Many times in the Bible, people gave God their first 10%. In Genesis 14, Abram gave a tenth of everything he had to a priest of God. What is 10%? If you had $10, 10% is $1. So you'd give $1 as a tithe or offering to God. Where does your $1 go then? Your offering to God does a lot. That $1 helps pay for supplies, ministry, missions, staff, building, and the future of the church. That $1 or 10% makes a difference for the kingdom of God. Give your offering as an act of worship. We give to the church because we love God and what he is doing through our church. Today, I get to share the Bible story with you. Now, our Bible story today is about the Israelite people and how 
how they lived in slavery for hundreds of years in Egypt. But one day, God freed them and led them into the wilderness, a place that they could call their own, a place that God prepared for them. But they didn't arrive yet, which meant that they were open to still being attacked by the enemy. One day, the Amalekites decided to attack the Israelite people. But Moses, the leader of God's people, had a plan. Moses spoke to Joshua, who was in charge of the Israelite people who went to battle. And this is what Moses says to Joshua. In Exodus 17 verse 9, Choose us men and go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand at the top of the hill with the rod that God gave me in my hand. So Joshua and all the other warriors began to prepare for war against the Amalekites. Joshua and the Israelite people who were preparing for war went down to the valley ready for battle. And at the same time, Moses and his brother Aaron and his friend Ur went up to the hill and they could see Joshua and the Israelites at the bottom of the valley. And they could also see the Amalekites. The two groups began to clash and the battle began. When the battle was on, Moses raised his hands up in the air with the staff that God had given him. And every time Moses did this, the Israelites began to win. When Moses' arms got a bit tired and started to come down, the Amalekites began to win. Moses raised his hands up and the Israelite people began to win again. Moses' arms got tired and sagged down in the air. The Amalekites began to win again. It didn't look like Moses could keep this up all day. But Aaron and Ur knew exactly what they needed to do. Together, they rolled a stone behind Moses so that he could sit down and that his hands could be raised up all the time. <coughs> then Aaron and Ur stood right beside Moses and they helped Moses to keep his hands up. Now by sunset, Joshua and the Israelite army had completely defeated the Amalekites. The Israelites defeated the Amalekites because of God's power. Moses was able to hold his arms up because Aaron and Ur worked together to help Moses. Moses, Aaron and Ur demonstrated something powerful about cooperation. And that's something that we can do today. We can work together to help someone else succeed. That's today's bottom line. You see, God has a plan and wants to use all of us to help someone else succeed. Let's pray today and ask God to help us. Dear God, thank you for this amazing story of cooperation. Thank you that you used Aaron and Ur to help Moses. Today, God, we ask that you help us to help someone else succeed. We know you have a plan and we trust you in everything that we do. We want to cooperate with you 
and you will help us to cooperate with one another. We love you, Lord. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. What a cool episode of Hope Kids at Home this was. There was so much fun from praise and worship to a really cool offering to a epic Bible story. I know I had so much fun today. If you missed any of our other episodes, click the subscribe button so you can be notified every time we post a video. And if you haven't had a chance to give or your mom and dad would like to, tell them to follow the link below and they can give to our great ministry. Well, boys and girls, until next time, we love you and we are praying for you and we hope to see you soon. Love from all of us here at Hope Kids at Home. Bye.